So these are the, you know, so that's process kimberlite, that's waste rock, that's ore stockpile. So the, uh, the, the point of all of these is that that's, that progressively goes higher as we're doing a centrifuge to dewater the tailings and then doing a dry stack with the tailings there. Obtaining $946 million in financing for a diamond project is a big accomplishment. Doing it in a tough market is even more remarkable. This was a tough project, so what made Matt successful here is he's a stubborn Scot, and he wasn't sort of put off or deterred. He knew what he wanted to do, and he stayed very focused on it, and he had that vision and determination from the very early days. Sean is talking about Matt Manson, the man behind Stornoway Diamond's Renard Project, located north of the Otish Mountains in north-central Quebec. Construction began on the project in July 2014, but it was a long road to get there. The effort to find the first diamond mine in Quebec took five years of, of tool sampling. That got us up to 2001, and then it's been 13 years since then of drilling, sampling, bulk sampling, economic assessment, social and environmental impact work, financing, permitting, has got us to where we are now. And I think this would be a textbook example of uh, a small junior mining company uh, scraping, uh, scratching, clawing its way throughout a couple of years of trying to raise funding in a very difficult market. They had to go through what Matt and Eeb called dark times. This company has had near-death experiences. Uh, in the credit crisis of 2008, the stock hit, I think, five and a half cents at the bottom in the sell-off of mining stocks at that time. And when we were, we were looking to see how much money we had in the bank and how we could survive. In some of our darker periods, uh, I. He would never stop, he would never, he never quit, always thinking of uh, new ideas or, or different approaches, uh, different uh, potential shareholders, different forms of uh, funding. So uh, I would say uh, he epitomizes perseverance. We live in a cyclical industry, we survive the, the downturns and we enjoy the upswings, uh, and you've got to live through both. With Matt Manson at the helm, the company survived and the Renard project is now well underway. And so can you tell me a little bit more about the accommodation facilities? Yeah, so we, we, we've got the wings up, the three dormitory wings. The accommodation, the, the, the kitchen and the recreational facilities have just gone up in the last couple of weeks. The schedule was to have first ore delivered to the plant in the second half of 2016 and to have achieved commercial production by the second quarter of 17. And then we should be doing between 1.6 and 2 million carats of diamonds a year, which is about 2% of world supply. Matt says the most important part of the process was obtaining their social license. We were able to build a coalition of good intent, a coalition of willing partners. Uh, we always knew that there were people out there who wanted to see a success, who wanted to see the project built and the company financed. And that's a great example of mines being made and not found, and it's going to benefit uh, not only the employees and the shareholders, but also the community. So it's just a tremendous achievement. 